So you want me to go down Marsh Bat and oh, so no. show me this place? Show me another time. Oh, okay. What was that? What was that? It's, it's the Japanese lady that talks to you. Doing what? I think she's saying about um, you haven't got your toll card. <laughs> so that, that's a nice little factor. Anyway, hello and oh, welcome to Salt Nation TV. Oh, you, oh, you tricked me again. <laughs> in this episode, oh. I'm taking Ed out for a drive in my new daily. Oh. And what is my new daily? Well, it's this. Nissan Cube oh, or mate. Tech Rider. So I oh. went for a special edition. It's got a beautiful body kit, as you can see. It's had, I think, some from the research I've done, some some tuning. This is a 1.5 litre CVT transmission. So the 1.5 litre produces about 109 brake, apparently, um, and it's got a continuous variable transmission, which a lot of people hate. Uh, so far, and I've only had the car for a few days and done about 300 miles in it. So far, I quite like it. It's different. You know, this is not a car to be punchy. I haven't bought this for performance. I've bought this for dailying and being cool. I think it's a wicked looking car. Mm. Um, and uh, I've been blown away. I, li I like everything about it. All I've got to do is find a slightly more comfortable driving position and win. And to be fair, I've adjusted my seat a bit today and it feels all right. Mm. So, but I can't believe it, man. I'm like, I've got mm. something that aesthetically really appeals to me. Yeah, it's small, but not that small. No, it's massive, mate. Here. It, it's it. Yeah, it feels far bigger than it actually yeah. is. Yeah. But in to be fair, it's like a Tardis. On the outside, you're like, it's not that big. And then you get in it and go for the driver and passenger in the front. Plenty. I of love room. it, mate. I love it. Um, and for the uh, for the passengers in the back, all right. You know, not that much room. We haven't got enough friends for passengers. No, in the fuck back. that. Um. But I mean, this is a seven seater apparently. So this is the cubic version, uh, the cube <laughs> three cubic. Um, that means it's a seven seater. Am I gonna use it as a seven seater? No. no. Um, at the moment, I'm thinking I'm gonna remove the rear lot of seats oh. and just store them somewhere, uh, just to have an extra bit of In the cargo boot. space <laughs> and make it, yeah, make it a bit lighter. Because with, <laughs> with those seats down, the Cubic has a longer wheelbase cubic. anyway. It's got a longer wheelbase than, than the standard Cube. By like an inch? It's, I think it's like 17 centimetres. Yeah. So, what's that? Uh, a few I inches? A few inches? Oh, yeah. <laughs> got shorts on, they're not flattering. Um, <laughs> Fattering. So, yeah, it, it's, it's longer, it's longer wheelbase, but, you know, I'm not going to fit a, a sixth and seventh person in this car. You never know. I do know. Groupies. Um, I mean, maybe for you. I mean, what? I'm gonna start like driving your ladies around, am I? <laughs> yeah. I'm literally gonna be driving Miss Daisy because we'll Ed's ladies are all in their uh, mid 70s. We'll have like um, with, a big banner on the outside. You know, 800 farm boy. <laughs> you, you said you got a horn, funny horn. Yeah, right. I haven't listened to it yet. Oh, it's just louder. Just louder. That's all. It sounds. 
It that didn't sound yeah. aggressive. I was expecting to go. <laughs> yeah, no, it sounds like this. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's even a joyous horn. This is a joyous driving experience. It's like, it's so. Oh, I don't want to use the term quirky because it's efficient more than quirky when you oh, when you're in the car. Though, the man. amount of the amount of cup holders, which you'll see in a later video, um, you know, the amount of storage space is ridiculous mm. for a car of this size. And I don't. Yes, it's asymmetrical, which suggests it's quirky, but I don't. I think the term quirky puts yeah. too much comedy on it. I think it's a really well devised um, car that actually. Yeah. is quite suitable for the UK, especially at the moment with fuel prices as they are. Yes, this isn't amazing, doesn't get amazing MPG. So 1.5 litre petrol, you'd hope for better. But I averaged in the first 300 miles of driving this car, which was mainly motorway miles, mm. I averaged, uh, I did the maths, it was about 40. That's not about bad. About 40 miles per gallon. And what's the Accord, like 20? 22. Well, I got 22 and I dated that for three days at yeah. the start of the week. Um, so it's almost double what the cord was giving me. It's only got a 45 litre fuel tank from what I can uh, I can okay. find out. I've done a lot of research, but a lot of it is like <laughs> hard to confirm because it's a JDM car, it's straight from Japan. This car got imported um, January last year, January 2021. Mm. Um, the guy who sold it to me was the first UK owner. He had it imported especially, mm. and it was his third cube that he's owned. He had a black Ortec uh, rider version of this, which was also very nice. He showed me pictures. And Kurt, that's the guy's name, top bloke. Mm. And he was at his house, amazing. Mm. Ah. In, I got it from Hinkley in Leicestershire. Hinkley. And his house, uh, he was doing his house up. He's renovating the house and the kitchen, mate. I loved sitting in there doing all the paperwork. It was like, it was really hot and his kitchen was so cool. Oh. It was like, not only cool to look at, but cool to sit in. God, he looks drunk. Yeah, it's a lot of drunkards. Right um, it's very hot. It is. It's very hot today. And, you know, this is... A, I mean, this video isn't going out... On. Yeah, we have. Um, this video isn't going out the day we film it. Yeah. But the day we're filming it, so now, yeah. um, it's a week till BHP, which last year was the hottest which day ever. would have been like today, wouldn't it? No, no, no. No, worse. No? It was worse than today. Yeah. And next Sunday, we're getting... Um, forecast of 35 degrees which is basically what it was last year uh, and i got so burnt on my legs that my legs looked like gammon um <laughs> it was it was fucking horrendous Un uncooked gammon uncooked yeah steel raw is, gammon steel as pale as anything <laughs> <laughs> i mean i've got my arms have gravied up quite nicely so covered i've got in chicken covered in ink. i've got chicken bisto colored arms now which covered is great. in ink covered in ink yeah but they're chicken bisto underneath and that's the most important bisto. thing oh, um bisto. that's how i tan so well, that's good. You but, said at the start. Yeah. Um, I'm excited, which is I know, why I, I, this video, the first video on I'm this queue, I'm not gonna. Let's just say it's going to be a little bit incoherent oh, because yes. I'm too excited. <laughs> you said at the start it, it's, it's had something done. No, it's not standard. You said something. It's had a performance something. Or was it? Yeah, just... the Ortec rider kit that I was mentioning about the body kit, a bit of tuning. Yeah. What's what's the tuning? Well, it took it to 109. Who did? Ortec. Ah, uh, what did they do to do that? I have no idea. <laughs> Why would I know? I don't work for Ortec. Well, so what, if I've had the car for three and a half days. Yeah, but I would have done anything by now. Um, <laughs> or I'd have pre-sold it. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> so if this car then wasn't obviously made by Nissan, Nissan called a Cube and made into Cube, yeah. what would it have been if it wasn't sent to Ortec? It would have just been a Cube. Yeah, but what would have been the power? Uh, 97. Oh, okay. So they've like done that. 97, something. 98. Yeah. Are they just upgraded cams? I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's just an ECU thing that they've oh, done. Or, probably you but could I be. mean, you know, we'll from what out. I'm, from what I'm told, yeah. Um, you know, this being a facelift model, you've got the 1.5 litre engine that you also find in the model after this, the Z12, um, which is a good, which is a great engine, which is made by Renault essentially. Yeah. It's a, it's a Renault engine, so. Some of the components uh, I share with the, um, I think it's the K12 Micra. So it's all B-series platform. Because um, we're into Nissans now. Yeah, we are. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but I can use, <laughs> apparently, I can use parts from the, from, parts from um, a K12 Micra, yes. which is the model after the one you've got, and you've got a K11. Is that, is that the more, uh, is that the even more bulbousy one? Yeah, that's the bulbousy one. Yeah. Um, and Renault Clio's of the same era. 
Ooh, so that's, um, you know, certain parts are going to be cheap. Good cheap parts. For a JDM car, that's good. But yeah, I, I think I was talking about when it was imported. Start of uh, 2021. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I bought it from the guy, the only guy that owned it, who had it specifically Great, imported mate. for him. He and wanted this model. And what's the miles? Um, well, when I picked it up, it was 53,800 oh, and something. Low and now, mileage. Now we're on 54... 54,183 right now and it has um, it's got loads of paperwork with it it had the kilometer per hour um, it's been redone, redone I've lost yeah. the word Recal changed recalibrated, recalibrated, recalibrated to miles per hour so it's been done by a professional company oh it's got MPH there yeah it's all like the, the dials have been changed to be uh, miles per hour rather than kilometers and it's uh, it's a really reputable company I'll stick their uh, their website address up or whatever in the description, but yeah, and it cost it cost like two hundred and fifty quid. So oh, I they did all that, did they? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I don't understand. Mm. I see a lot of cubes, mm. JDM cube. I say a lot. <laughs> if you're <laughs> looking for a JDM Z11 cube, you'll be able to find something. Whether it's a standard model, there's yeah. you know a few Autech riders out there. There's a few Impuls, which are the you know the more sporty models. Um, but. They're all still in kilometers, well not all of them, but a lot of them are still in kilometers per hour. Mm. And there was a car that I would have looked at should this have gone, which was a 2004, so one four liter engine, uh, standard sort of automatic gearbox. Um, that was a an Impul, so it was a Z11 Impul, and um, it was black, which is more my color, but to be fair, this is pearlescent white and I love it. Uh, oh, turn your indicators Audi. off, yeah? No, you can't Audi see. Yeah, an old A4. God. But mate, you've got a lovely contrast because you've got the black and now the white one. For sure. But this this Impul, see this is what I mean, I'm so excited and Ed's excited because I mean he's not so looking as excited but we were outside more, the car doing the B-roll and he was just like I'm more excited than this CR bloody V. <laughs> yeah, the CRV was a great car but just not, it was soulless, it was unfun. This is right up my street. This is awesome. Um, but yeah, this Impul, even though it had been in the country Ooh. for, I think, like three years, I think, something like that, yeah. nobody had changed it from kilometres per hour. And I just think that's lazy ownership. Oh, let's go really fast. Wow, look at the, feel the burn, 35 miles an hour. This is not a fast car. It's a cruiser. Me and, me and you got to race this in the Micra. Oh, for sure. The Micra will probably beat it. It won't. That's the slowest car in the world. Oh, really? It's one litre. I've, been, I've, 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 I've only been in it like three times and it's been city driving. 54 brake horsepower. This is double. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it is. But yeah. it's bigger though. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, it's not particularly heavy though. So, a test for our viewers, if they are paying attention. Yeah. Don't give the answer. This is our second um, actual JDM car on the channel. Yeah, it is. If our viewers can comment below what the first JDM car was on the channel, we'll send I you. We'll send you a sticker. Yeah. The first. Well, yeah, let's say the we. first five people that get the right. Because they're no, not a sticker. We'll pick. We'll pick a winner. Oh, we'll pick a winner. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, so, they're, they're well, let's pick two winners. Pick two and we'll winners send them two stickers each because yes. they might like symmetrical yes. stickering like yes. I do. Although this isn't going to be symmetrically stickered and that's only, because and that's, it's an asymmetrical car. Yeah, so. and that's only if people are paying attention and listening. So we hope you've enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you have, this this video has been very... Oh, 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 and that's tell. for a reason. I'm really what, chuffed. What, a monkey so, trying to fuck Yeah, a it's like a monkey trying to fuck a football. <laughs> um, there will be more coherent content on the cube coming soon. But I'm just too excited, man. It'd be like, those two guys don't only look like they're trying to fuck a football, they sound like two monkeys trying to fuck a football. <laughs> they're way too excitable. <laughs> I am indicated. I didn't need to point where I'm, I'm going, I've been mate. terrible for telling people how to drive recently. You don't need to tell me how to drive, son. Well, let's go to Darren's pub. Yeah, we're going to go and Hello, have a pint. Hello, I'm Darren's pub. Oh, he told me to message him before... Uh, uh, I've, no, I haven't messaged him. Oh, well. But yeah, yeah, we hope you've enjoyed this video. Sport. Sorry that it isn't massively coherent, but I've only had the car for three and a half days. I've only driven it a few times and I'm already in love with it. So yeah, there will be mods coming. There will be some coherent content coming. This is just a first video of the excitement of owning a Cube, which considering it's a relatively slow car, it's hugely exciting. So yeah, it's, yeah. I'm loving it. There's, yeah, there's so much to look at. It's ridiculous. It's great. And until yeah. the next time, I've been me, you've been you, Ed's been Ed, and well done for that. What have you got here? Yeah, I've taken them off, mate, yeah. No, you haven't. They're I'm what? not putting them back on. What are they? They're for your micro. They're from Japan. Oh, they smell. Ooh, Japanese. What is it then? Uh, like rabbit's feet, something like that. 
Oh, and a quick, bon real. quick bonus for Cube owners. Oh, we're doing bonus content again. We haven't done that for a while. That's probably gold dust to some people out oh, there. Oh, yeah. That's the flare, mate. JDM flare. Does it work? <laughs> ah!